sheltering in place. I returned to the mirror, waiting for the silence to take me. I had already survived grief. I knew how to sit still and let discomfort run through my jaw and down the back of my neck. I knew how to let uncertainty eat into my stomach. How to let loss become me, fall into it and rise again, slowly, even unsteadily. I have no fear for stillness and the mirror it makes of my breath. But death is not only the fact of breath leaving the body one final time. It is each unseen sigh, searching the folded over corners within you with the gentleness that unravels them until you are a wrestling thing, writhing against an old ache, refusing to die, determined to hide, until you are grappling with a wound without cut or slash to prove, to prove... This is how it hurts. This is where it hurts. See. This is how, this is where, see, see, this is the soil in which I planted myself to grow a life, long before I knew how to hold letters on my tongue. When the mirror is your own breath, the face reflected back is not the one you show to the world. It is the one you hide from yourself. Sit or sit, not yet. Sit or sit, not yet. Crouching behind the vibe, a crit of shame. A single breath is the foot that kicked a hole through the bottom slab before I could shout. Revealing me hunched over, hugging knees to chest, praying feverishly not to be found. When your own breath is the one seeking the you you didn't know you were hiding, you will be found. Ready or not, it will come and... Mine did, gentle as the shadow of a line of light on a quiet wall, unassumingly beautiful, rendering me bare. Until all I could do was look and see. Until all I could do was look and see. Look and see and feel. Don't.